this is so nice. So hello everybody, uh, welcome me in the Euros Performante. Um, this is probably one of the first cars which made it onto the German Autobahn and um, yeah, it's a very, very special car, mainly because of this Alcantara interior here. I cannot even get my gloves closed. Um, yeah, of course, from the outside, it's Euros facelift, plus of course, the Euros Performante style now with 660 HP, 850 Newton meters of torque. But I can already tell you from a subjective feeling, this somehow feels like 800 horsepower. I don't know why, uh, and I, I'm not sure what the numbers will tell us, but it feels like 800 horsepower, honestly. A brilliant car. Um, inside, MS, Set Alcantara everywhere. Um, there is no plastic piece in it. It's either Alcantara or matte carbon fiber. And the interesting part is that even within those um, door panels here, inside, it's Alcantara. And um, yeah, there's not a single piece uh, on the roof. Wherever you look at, um, which is not in Alcantara or carbon fiber, um, I have think I said it enough. Um, it's it's an amazing piece of art inside. And of course, without further talking, we want to find out how fast it goes. First on the country road zero to one hundred, and later on, of course, also on the autobahn one hundred to two hundred. Um, bear with me; we probably won't put it into Corsa mode because um, with Lamborghini, the drive modes are linked to the ESC setting. And if I put it to Corsa, it's also ESC Corsa for the race. Track, which um, in winter conditions maybe is not the safest version therefore we will stick to the let's say more settled sport version and I think we will have the same power anyhow for a 100 to 200 run um, yeah without further talking uh, flip the paddle to put it into drive and set off it's not supposed to shut down here First run, internal measurement didn't even count for whatever reason. Uh, 3.7 because so much wheel spin in the cold here with the winter tires. Uh, I want to get it lower than that, but uh, you all know we won't be chasing record times in those conditions because there's such such power on the rear axle, too much power. But nevertheless, let's try out if we can beat the 3.7. That was faster. 3.6 on here and there as well. Funny enough, we didn't have wheel spin right now in sport mode. Maybe that's better under those conditions. <laughs> However we did it, um, in Corsa mode you have the perfect launch control but you don't have the traction there because it's too damp and cold and we have winter tires. Uh, in sport mode, uh, traction is better but you don't get the best gear shifts in the end. 3.6 under those conditions is mind blowing. Let's head out onto the Autobahn and see how fast it goes. 100 to 200 because there we can really feel the power. eight seconds 100 to 200 uphill run that was a 0.5 percent uphill run oh my goodness this thing starts to pull This thing is blistering fast. 7.5 seconds, 100 to 200. I told you, this feels like 800 horsepower. Yeah, it's probably not fully 800 horsepower yet, but I mean, we have a huge car. Um, there's a lot of wind resistance by those big tires, by that big vehicle, and 7.5 seconds. That is a number that is not too far away from, well, it's actually faster than a Porsche GT3. It's faster than the, the, the new Porsche GT3. Or oh, about the same speed. That, that is simply amazing. 